For the second time, a driverless taxi is being tested right here in Houston. Cruise It's a part of a General Motors. It's putting their self-driving taxis back on the road this week. And tonight, KPRC 2's Gage Golding is taking a closer look at why they were put on hold and how soon the driverless cars could be picking you up. All new at 10 tonight. Whether you're behind the wheel of your car, pedaling down the path on a bike, or just running by, you could be right next to one of these self-driving taxis where the only thing keeping this car in between the lines is the camera and the tech. I don't really trust that. You wouldn't be alone in the idea. The self-driving cars are being put on Houston highways by a company called Cruise, which is owned by General Motors. But this isn't the first time they're making tracks here in Houston. These autonomous taxis were already being tested here. That came to a screeching halt back in October when a cruise robo taxi in California hit a woman, dragging her for 20 feet. She survived, but the program was put in park. That is until this week. I think if they took the necessary precautions and went back and did testing and added some additional safeguards to ensure that didn't happen, um, sure. Cruise is back in gear in Houston, first with manual driving, meaning someone's actually driving the vehicle. But the plan is to progress to supervised driving where the car drives with someone in the driver's seat and eventually to full self-driving. A little scared just because you, you, you never know if you can really trust that or not, you know? It's a computer driving itself. Something wrong at any point can happen. Cruz says they redesigned their approach to safety, even going as far as bringing on new leaders. But to some, it's not enough for them to hop in the back, let alone be comfortable around a robo-taxi. No, that's just because I trust myself more than I trust anybody else, but that's just me in general. If I see one on the freeway, I'm getting all the way to the left. <laughs> I ain't going to get close to that. Cruz says they plan on moving to supervised driving here in Houston in the coming weeks. If you want to catch a ride, you'll have to join a wait list. In Houston, Gage Golding, KPRC2 News.